across Where the pines like waltz is waiting, waiting Give their black heads a toss um, I've, I've sung these songs for a long time. Um, I've, I sing a lot of Britain. Um, and these are songs that are in my repertoire that I hadn't recorded. They're very important song cycles of Benjamin Britten and they're, and they're wonderful song cycles. And I've actually done quite a lot of, of Britain with Tony, but not this amazing song repertoire. And we've done other song repertoire together and it seemed a really good thing to do together in this Britain year. Creak, creak, little wood thing, little wood thing. Creak, creak, when I touch you with elbow or knee. That is the way you speak, speak the way you speak of one who gave you to me. I mean, we think of Thomas Hardy as being the author of you know, these very gloomy novels, Tess of the D'Urbervilles, Truth the Obscure, and he also wrote some very gloomy poems, but also very sort of sometimes slightly wry, funny poems. Looked at me with a thought, looked at me with a thought that I did. It's interesting for me working with Tony on this repertoire because we've done the mainstream leader repertoire. We've, we've recorded Schubert's Schwanergesang, we've recall, recorded Wolf's leader, some of Wolf's leader. And these were both composers who were incredibly important to Britain and he performed them a lot. He gave a lot of leader recitals with Peter Pears. And in a way, he's the last composer who composed in that tradition and these songs are part of that tradition where you find a sort of, in a way, a musical symbol for the poem and then you drive it through and you'll often hear that he's he's found some particular little image in the piano and yeah. then and then he varies it he changes it he plays around with it and that's very much that's the method that schubert invented discovered that's what we mean by leader really Prendete gli occhi miei fond your fiume prendete Onde della non vostri salda vena, che più innalza i cresce con più lena che non nel vostro natural costume. You have a cycle that is in Italian, the Michelangelo sonnets, and uh, the way Britain captures um, the flamboyance and the flair of the language is quite uncanny. The same with the Hölderlin fragments, which are in German. We're not the only ones celebrating Benjamin Britten. Um, it'll be the hundredth uh, anniversary of his birth. And, uh, and so um, to that end, uh, both of us are performing a lot of Britain. Uh, Ian and I in Rome uh, will be doing the serenade together, uh, the serenade for tenor, horn and strings, which is a seminal work. In, in Britain's oeuvre, and, uh, and then we'll be recording for EMI the War Requiem. We are recording the songs from the Chinese by Britain. Uh, this cycle consists of six songs. Each song uh, is a translation from a Chinese poem uh, translated by Arthur Whaley. And this cycle is quite unique because they were written for voice and guitar. Of gold and cassia is the lute's compounded within it lies? 
Arthur Whaley translated 170 Chinese poems, and Britain selected these six poems to write music um, to reflect his own feelings and life. Uh, they are beyond the original meanings in the, the poems. Um, so these songs are covering the themes of innocence, regret, and loss. Because of the Chiang fruit and the tithern of Chin. And I was completely blown away, away by these songs because of this incredible facility he has been writing for the guitar, the way he makes it sound like different things. He uses harmonics. He, um, he makes it a very deep, deep feeling with the voice, I think. And he obviously worked a lot on guitar with Julian Bream, the, the great um, still living guitarist and lutenist of the 50s, 60s, 70s. Autumn wind rises, white as fine, grass and trees with these go south. All get all in bloom, chrysanthemum smells sweet. I think of my lovely lady, I never can forget. Britain was really good at writing for all sorts of instruments. He used to discover an instrument and get very enthusiastic about it. He used to find out all sorts of things about how the instrument worked. And I think it's the same probably with the guitar. And then I had this great opportunity to work with Faye because I was introduced to her by EMI. And um, we've had really good fun doing these, this piece in concert and doing some Schubert in concert. And it's been wonderful making the record with her. Don't help on the big chariot You will only make yourself dusty Don't think about the sorrows of the world You will only make yourself wretched Stifled with dust, be stifled with dust. 